It's Saturday afternoon, almost evening. Um, Lyndon got up, she took a shower. I got up, checked the mail. Nothing in the, the mailbox out by the road. Got a hold, well, to make a long story short, Lynn and I checked with the mail lady, delivery lady, and uh, I was supposed to get a package today in the mail that contained a center cap for Linda's navigator to replace the one off the left rear that is, was either stolen or misplaced or fell off. It was needing repair. I, anyway, the post office says they delivered it, which means someone stole our mail. So Monday, I have to go over to the post office and get a post office box and every day go get the mail at the post office box. I, I, uh, I called my oldest adopted son Dale and told him what happened and he has a box behind his gate that uh, to drop packages in so his dogs can keep people from stealing them. We don't let our dogs run out toward the, the gate. It's a lot further from our front porch to our gate than it is from the back of Dale's house to his gate and his and his it's just we don't let our dogs run loose it's a, it's not good for them it's not good for anyone else uh, excuse me um, I haven't gone back on on eBay, I did send a message. I never got the package. Um, I can't give them a, a good rating because I never got the package. I'm doing my vlog real quick. What? Our mail. Where did that come from? It was on the freezer. Well, it showed up. I'll have to go see if <laughs> it'll... I'll put it in the house. Well, I'm going to put that on your car. Just set it on the table right there. Well, I hope it didn't get broken all up because this is no protection. Well, it's a steel thing. This is a, oh, this is mine. Would you pour me up my thermos and I'll carry it in? Well... That just where that just surprised me. The mail showed up. Well, the mailman knows it was. We were pitching a fit about it. Yeah. So, in case he didn't actually deliver it, <clears throat> he made sure to get it here. Is Aurora and the boys gone? Yes. This is gonna be this. I've. <laughs> we uh, got a, our mail. Uh, yeah. After I said on YouTube, we didn't. Well, evidently we did, so I'm still going to go get a post office box. Or I don't know if that's necessary now. Yes, it is. But, uh, But from now on, I'm going to go get my medication from the Indian Hospital. If someone stole my medication and didn't know what it was and, and took it, it would kill them. I mean, I, what is a normal dose for me on stuff would be an overdose for other people. Well, blood pressure, when your blood pressure drops far enough, your heart stops. Yeah. And the metformin would just kill him outright. Well, anyway. Love you guys. <laughs> That's my sweetheart. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to go see if that fits her car. And then I'm going to go in the house and change clothes, and she and I are going to do nothing. I mean, just absolutely nothing. 
I'm going to watch stuff. We tried watching, and I don't know. We might resume and see if it gets any better. There's a deal on Amazon called, uh, on Prime Video called Night Sky, and it was not. Let's just put it this way. I wasn't impressed. And I'm a sissy SpaceX and a... Uh, J.K. Simmons fan. I I think they're both great actors. Uh, it just was not well written. It's slow burn, and I don't like doing slow burn things. Um, I uh, I had an, uh, a a uh, successfully survived Friday yesterday. Still hate Fridays, but it turned into a pretty good day. I got up pain-free this morning, and I got up in a really thankful and good mood this morning. I mean, I'm not even wearing gloves or pressure rings. I've just got regular rings on. And uh, it, uh, I was determined, and I didn't let not getting my mail get me in a bad mood. I decided I was going to enjoy today, and I'm still going to enjoy today. Aurora and Shy and Ashton are out with their mom having fun. We're getting ready to go in the house, and Linda and I watch stuff on the, the in the parlor and have fun. I'm going to leave off doing a... Excuse me... <coughs> doing a, anything until probably Monday. I'm going to try to take a weekend and, and actually get some rest and relaxation. I've not done that in a long time. Um, Linda's got the poultry loose in the front, in the, the actual yard to her house back there. Um, got about an acre and a half fenced off for a yard. And they're in there running around. The sheep and goats are in there. Brandon, my oldest son, made a comment to his mom, you need to just have sheep, no goats because the sheep taste better, I guess. The goats are so much fun. Baby goats are hilarious to watch. Uh, there's a guy I watch called Red Poppy Ranch on YouTube. His name, name is Heath Skinner. And he said, anyone that doesn't love baby goats can't be a friend of mine. And I don't hold exactly that same sentiment, but I do enjoy the fact that... Uh, um, they're so comical just to watch. They're so full of joy and bouncy and happy and just so energetic. And it's just a blast to sit and watch baby goats do stuff. Well, that's all I've got for today. I'm, I'm going to get off of here and, and uh, load this and then uh, go into the house and actually do a whole lot of just nothing with my sweetheart I it on the way over to Ada we uh, you know I just told her you know I'm in love with you I have an old a, a couple of old friends from high school um, Ruan Scott later Ruan Crumpley and Martha Sneed later uh, Martha Sells, and she and Steve, her husband Steve Sells, Martha and Steve been married 47 years today. They'll never see this video, but I did tell them one thing that I absolutely believe to be true. If there were ever two people that were meant for each other, it's her and Steve Sells, and I think it's just great. Folks, i got to get off of here. I love all of you. God bless all of you. And like that sign says up there, be kind. Bye.